my brothers and sisters from Israel, Honorable Prime Minister and India's best friend, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, Honorable Minister of Transportation and Road Safety, Ms. Miri Regev, Honorable Minister of Energy, Mr. Israel Katz, Honorable Minister of Environment Protection, Ms. Silman, His Excellency, Mr. Sanjeev Singla, Ambassador of India to Israel, Honorable Mayor of Haifa, Dr. Rotim, former Haifa Board Chairman, S.L. Omoni, CEO of Gadot Group, Mr. Offer Lynchweski, and distinguished guests. It is a moving experience to be here on this historic day. I have spoken on many foreign lands, but I must admit, never on a foreign land where I felt so inspired. Never on a foreign land that I have admired as much as this land. And most of all, never on a foreign land where I do not feel foreign. I passionately believe that the Israeli spirit makes all the difference. And no one could have articulated this spirit better than your first Prime Minister, David Ben-Guyon. When he said, in Israel, in order to be a realist, you must believe in miracles. Israel and its people are indeed the manifestation of several miracles. In terms of history, our friendships extend well before we became independent in 1947 and 1948. The most memorable day that binds our friendships together was the 23rd of September of 1918. It was on this day that our soldiers from the Indian cities of Mysore, Hyderabad and Jodhpur battled here at this very city for the freedom of Haifa. And earlier today, I had an opportunity to visit the cemetery where our soldiers were put to rest. It was a moving moment for me to reflect on the fact that the port we now share is part of the same city where soldiers from both our countries fought side by side for the ultimate sad cause that we all call freedom. Israel has always motivated me. You have rewritten the rules of what a country with a population of less than 10 million can achieve. You have rewritten the rules by proving what a country with a very little natural resources can achieve. And you have rewritten the rules by showcasing what a country with a self-belief can achieve. The elasticity of Israel makes it the world's most resilient nations. The proof is in how this country has demonstrated growth. Israel is an outcome of his ability to beat all odds with the sheer power of science and technology. Your pace of innovation across multiple sectors amazed me. Your drive for innovations makes me wonder how we can learn from you. You have focused on a sustainable growth far before the world was taking about sustainability. 
you focus on water, energy, and soil conservations well before this become a mainstream trend. It is a staggering to imagine how a nation with a less than 10 million population can have a GDP of $500 billion. My dear friends, let me now talk about our presence in Israel. Today's occasion is the outcome of a lot of hard work that has been put in over the last six years. Over, three, over these years, we have struck many critical partnerships that include Albit Systems, Israel Weapon Systems, and Israel Innovation Authority. We have initiated several dozen technologies relationships wherein we have offered the entire Adani portfolio of companies to be a giant sandbox for us to learn together. We are also in the process of a setting up an artificial intelligence lab in Tel Aviv, which will work in a close which will work in a close collaboration with our new AI labs in India and US. We also anticipate establishing collaborative relationships with our local colleges like the University of Haifa to be able to capitalize on the deep technology expertise available in this city. And now, we have the most momentous partnership of all, the Haifa port along with our valued partner, Gadot. Honorable Prime Minister, this privatization initiative was action at a time when you were the Prime Minister, and it is only fitting that today it is you who is handing pot over to us at this memorable ceremony. <laughs> Talking about Haipa pot, I am very confident that with the support from the government of Israel, the local authorities, and our partner Gadot, we will transform the entire port landscape. We realize that there will be a competition from others, but our confidence comes from our belief in the people of Israel, and therefore, our belief in the Israel growth story. Our intention is to make the right set of investment that will not just make the Adani Gadot partnership proud, but will make the whole of Israel proud. <laughs> the acquisition of Haipa Port also comes with a significant amount of real estate. And I promise you that in the years to come, we will transform the skyline we see around us. <laughs> the Haifa of tomorrow will look very different from the Haifa that you see today. With your support, we will deliver on this commitment and do our part to transform this city. My dear friends, in closing, let me quote two lines penned by one of your most famous poets, Yehuda Amikai. A man does not have a time in his life to have time for everything. He does not have a seasons enough to have a season for every purpose. I found this line tremendously inspiring. As we try and transform our nations, we all come to the realization that we will never have a time for everything that we want to do. However, the journey must go on as new seasons arrive. What I have come to realize is that the season you celebrate in Israel are the season of a passion, tenacity, belief and drive. These seasons give you purpose. What you have proven is that these are the only seasons that matter. I am grateful 
for all your support, your friendship, and your inspiration. Thank you. Salam.